Hello and welcome to today's video. We are here for season one, episode number six of our Camping World Truck Series NASCAR Heat 2 Championship. And today, we're going to do two more races for you guys and continue our quest for the championship. Now, a quick look here at the standings. And as you guys see, we are in first place on the playoff grid here with three wins and 21 playoff points. Followed closely behind by Ryan Truex, who also has three wins and 20 playoff points. Then John Hunter Nemechek is in third with three, with two wins and 13 playoff points. Then you see Matt Kraft with one win, six playoff points, and Rick Smith with one win and five playoff points. Also with playoff points, Chase Briscoe and Austin Sindrick. So if we take a quick look here at the standings though, as you guys see, Ryan True is going to be second behind us on the chase grid, but he's actually seventh, which is a key note because we need to stay first points overall, so we're going to stay ahead of Chase Briscoe on this uh, level of points, just so we can get them 15 bonus playoff points in a couple episodes. Now a quick look at the two tracks we'll be racing today. I'm super excited about the first one. We're racing at Eldora. We're also racing at Pocono in today's video. Also, later on in the video, we'll get into when the playoffs begin for this series and how things are going to start getting a little bit crazy in the next couple weeks. But now let's head to Eldora for the Dirt Derby. All right, guys, because things are a little bit different here at Eldora, I figure let's give you guys a little bit of a qualifying run. I know normally for Eldora or for any race, we well, normally for racing, we don't do qualifying here in the video, but I figure it's Eldora. Let's do a qualifying lap together, guys. Alright, so I'm going to try here and qualify first because it's one of my best tracks in the truck series. I just love racing Eldora. It's super fun. It's unique and different, and that's really what I enjoy about it now. When I go in the corner here, I'll put on the edge of control, trying to keep myself from spinning out and ruining my time. Uh, you guys will probably see at some point in this race, I will spin out and crash. For sure, but for now, we're keeping it pretty good. Holy shit. That messed me up there in the end. I know that hurt my time. But here we go. It's time to race Eldora. We're going to start in third behind John Hunter Nemechek and Matt Craft. Let's see how many laps we get to do here of Eldora for a stage. Oh, that's right. The stages will be the same because I have to... Oh, yeah, I run the same percentage for a regular race. Never mind. I was like, how many laps do we have? Not some of those races we do not have to pit, guys, because... You can make it like 160 laps, even with four times tire wear and fuel. Now, that was a really bad corner for me, I do admit. I believe to do a door, you're supposed to take the top, try to slide it as much as you can around the bottom here, which is what I'm trying to do, just keep the truck moving around here in the corner. There we go, keep it going. Really contradicting that my truck says Toyota, my shirt says Ford, but we'll let it happen. <laughs> Alright, so we're here doing the damn thing. Stage one, we're really getting a good run on just getting ahead of everybody. I don't know what it is about the door that you can just get a big lead. I don't know if it's just because the game doesn't know how to do the trucks on the dirt or what it is but Eldora is one of those tracks you can get a really really big lead really quickly I think that they just try to run it like the oval tracks and it doesn't really work out yeah they're just going into the corner they're just breaking which doesn't really work out so we're gonna win stage one here get ourselves our first stage win in a couple episodes and we're gonna move on to the next Stage here, of course, no need to pit as you guys can see. 168 laps, there's only 16 laps to go. So, we're gonna advance to green here now, guys. We're gonna do the damn thing. It's kind of wild as I'm wearing this shirt, and it's my Kevin Harvick shirt, and it's really dope, but it's not gonna get to be worn in the Monster Energy series videos that I record. Uh, if you guys don't know, when this video is being recorded, it is just a little bit before Gran Turismo 4 comes out, which by the time the video goes up, it'll have been out for a week. 
but as you guys know, I record everything ahead. And to get ahead of that game coming out so I can stream it, I changed up my recording schedule. And I figure here on Sunday night, well, actually it's Monday morning at 1 in the morning, but I figure I started doing some video work on Sunday night. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, it was super cool, and I was really just feeling the uh, vibes for videos, and I was really feeling rejuvenated, really just trying to get out here and make some quality content, and I figured, you know what, I'm here, I got time, I want to change up my schedule, get things to do a little bit differently just so I can stream that game when it comes out, and I know I'm not really going to want to record the day the game comes out, besides my stream, so I'm really going to want to do video work on Tuesday, so I figure, you know, to lighten the workload on later days in the week, why don't we record this video ahead of time, so... Trucks are pretty short video to do, so I figure here we go. We'll come out here and we'll record this relatively quick. Because I always wear this shirt or a Kevin Harvey shirt on race day. Being Sunday was the Talladega race. So I wore the shirt and I figured let's do the damn thing. Also wearing a Dodgers hat or baseball. Because I don't know, I, I follow baseball. Like, on my phone, I follow it on the MLB app, and on Twitter, I follow the different teams I like, and I follow MLB themselves, but I just don't sit down and watch games just because it takes so long. But when it comes to the playoffs, they're really, I don't know, they're more excited to watch playoff games. So I would sit down and watch the Dodgers and Red Sox in the playoffs. Red Sox obviously being eliminated, I've been watching the Dodgers a little bit, and it's been fun. So I figure, you know, I'll wear this hat in the videos. Of course, you guys will see the Warriors Championship at Make a Return very soon. Just throughout videos this week, you guys will probably be seeing this Dodgers hat. But uh, I'm also very excited for basketball to be back again by the time this video comes out. Warriors will have played their first game, got their rings, had their championship celebration to start off the new season, raise their banner in Oracle Arena. But for now, at this moment, I can be like, yo, I'm excited. This is the one thing about recording videos ahead, is that you miss that sort of element of like, yo, that's super dope. But I I don't have the ability to just be able to sit down and record the videos that go up on the day they do. I've gotten into recording a week ahead as a routine, and it's really, really difficult for me to sit down and say, I'm recording this video that's going up now. Everything's just so scheduled out for me. Maybe at some point that'll be something I can do, and I think it'd be cool. But for now, it's super difficult for me just to sit down and say, let's do the damn thing. All right, so here with five laps to go at Eldora, back on top of this race. Eldora goes by really fast. Uh, we're just doing the damn thing, doing some solid work. Gonna lead every lap here at Eldora, hopefully. We only got five to go. And I believe that with some solid work here, we'll get ourselves into a decent position to do some work in the playoffs. And that's exciting because I feel confident leaving Eldora, knowing that uh, even if something crazy happens now, we lose the race. Leaving Eldora knowing that we won stages and got a bunch of stage points is really, really helpful. With three to go, the chances of some epic collapse are highly unlikely because if we wreck and there's a caution, we will still get to start in front of all these trucks here that I'm lapping. So say we win the race, we're going to have seven more playoff points that will put us at 28, I believe, because when we did the recap, I was at, yeah, I was 21, didn't I have 21? Yeah. So, with that, I'm feeling confident heading into the playoffs, which are only in a couple episodes, but in the next race we'll talk about when they're starting for every series. And I feel confident, because I know things got a little bit close there. Uh, we were maybe only 20 points, 30 points ahead of second place. And we had a driver that was pretty close to passing us on the chase, chase playoff grid. 
Again, the playoff grid does not really matter, but I just use that to gauge who we're going to race against. I mean, it matters, but the points are what matter for 15 playoff points. So there you go, guys. We got first place at Eldora, our fourth win of the season. Super excited to win at Eldora. I was hyped to bring that to the channel in a series, and here we go. We got to do an Eldora race right now. So it's pretty exciting. And we're going to head to Pocono. All right, guys. So I elected not to qualify here at Pocono. Coming off of our Eldora win. Feeling pretty good heading towards the playoffs. So I don't really want to sit down and qualify. So I figure let's do the damn thing. Oh, boy. Things are getting spicy here on the track. Making some passes. Doing the damn thing, as the kids say. And I want you guys to know this here's episode number, what is it, six? In just a couple episodes, as the game has told me in the menu in between races, there's only five races, including this one, to the playoffs. And that's kind of wild that we're that close to the playoffs, guys. And I gotta say. We just gotta keep this main, this lead that we have, maintain it, and pace the field. Whether we get a playoff point every time, doesn't really matter right now. What matters is that we finish in the top 10 in stages. And that's what we're on course to do right now. We don't need to win any more races. We just have to have a decent race. As you guys may have known in the last episode, I remember in the last episode, we didn't have two good races. And with this season being relatively short, there's seven playoff races out of 23 races, so there's not really much time to go out here and make moves to win. And if you have a couple mistakes, which every season you're going to have a couple races that just don't go your way. And that's exactly what we've seen in the last episode. So we got to come out here and try to make sure that oh my god we were right there oh we're gonna make sure every episode that we come out here we try to win because episode number nine which i have written down here on the piece of paper i wrote it down earlier i was doing some work trying to figure out uh what was coming up that on the 16th i don't know where i wrote nine it's I must have seen the thing say September and I wrote 9, but November, let's just say 11. 11, 16, which may seem like, oh, that's a couple weeks away. But relatively soon, episode number 9 is going to come up with us. That's going to be our week that is full of truck series races. But in a couple weeks, episode number 9 is going to go down. And that's when the playoffs begin, that Thursday. No, it's, it's a Thursday, and this video doesn't go up on Thursday, but I've already crossed over the fact that we have one week that is full of truck races. And that is that week that the playoffs begin. We take on New Hampshire, Las Vegas, and Talladega. And I'm looking forward to it. I think that we got a good shot to go far in and make a run at the championship. There's no reason why we shouldn't make a run at the championship. We've raced good most of the season. It's just maintaining first place for the next five races, again, including this one. So after Pocono, we're just going to maintain those points. We gained nine more, and we got a shot right here. Let's see, we may gain ten if we clear end finger off the corner, which we do. We had a good shot to gain ourselves 10 points and another platform, which will give us 29. And I feel like with a shot like that, that with 29 playoff points, say we finish with 29, we'll have 15, but we have a road course coming up, guys. And I'm pretty excited about Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. That is going to be a fun track, which I believe is in the next episode. And if not that, it'll be in two weeks. But 
I believe it's coming up on us soon, and that's going to be exciting. So actually, it's two weeks from now the playoffs begin, because the next week and then the week after. So the week after next week will be playoff week. And uh, it's, it's getting crazy. I know this first season seems like it just started recently, but it started in the beginning of September. And if you guys are wondering, I know I will say it again, but if you guys are into watching our Xfinity series and our Monster Energy series, the Xfinity series championship starts Saturday, November 4th. That's going to be episode number 14. And the Monster Energy Cup series, also episode number 14, will be Sunday, November 5th. We will be taking those episodes and going with them. And that's going to be exciting. All three playoffs. Actually, I don't think they're going to be going at the same time. No, we won't. We'll have two. We're going to have the final race of the Cup Series playoff and the whole truck playoffs in one week. But the Xfinity playoffs will be the week before because that has one less episode. As you guys know, it will all make sense. All make sense. I don't know how I say it like that. It will all make sense though once these, once this week comes upon us that this is happening. It's going to make sense entirely why this series is unfolding the way it is, the way they're uploading. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. And here we go with only three laps to go here at Pocono. We're looking for win number five on the season. Can we get that fifth win of the season here at Pocono? Graham Finger getting a little bit of a run there. I'm going to slam the door on him again, make sure he cannot get by. I'm going to just run down the back straight into the corner here. I'm going to leave him a lane, see if he makes a move. If he makes a move, then I'll block it. If he doesn't make a move, then he doesn't make a move. All right, here, off into turn number three at Pocono. Up off the turn at the line, it's going to be two to go. And, yo, he just did a great crossover move. That was for the win right there. That would have been crazy. Gladly there was two laps to go. So we got an opportunity here to battle back against Grand M. Finger. And we'll see what we can do off in the corner. We're getting really high up into the turn, though. That does worry me, because I had to let out a couple of times. They let M Finger make another run at us. If we get another little bit of a run down the back straight, then we can block him. Slow his momentum down. And we'll see what we can do off into turn two of Pocono. Again, getting a little bit higher off the corner. This time he was not able to get up to our back bumper. And we're going to head off into turn number three. Looking to take the white flag here at Pocono. Is he going to try the crossover move again? Went on a block. That time he did not get to us to make a run at us. One lap to go from Pocono. It is time to go, guys. We got one lap to go. Make a run off into turn one. M Finger really lost a lot of distance. We went up high here, though, again on exit. As long as we don't brush the wall, we should be fine. Down off this long straight. I don't know what it's called. Is it a back straight? Not really. I am low on fuel. That's a yikes, but if it just popped up, we're fine. Off into turn two. Now down the other little straight here. Brandon Finger's really losing time. We should easily, as long as we don't mess it up here, in turn three... which we're going to do fine. We're going to get off a of turn number three here. Go across the line. We should easily be able to capture the five playoff points and a win, which should really, really help us move forward here. Let's see what we're looking at points-wise now. First, give me some of those speed points. Yeah, dope. And again, stage two winner. Almost won stage one that close. Let's see what we're looking at, though. 
Uh, we have a 72 point lead over Chase Briscoe. That's pretty good. Now we're up to five wins, 34 playoff points. Next close is Ryan Truex with three wins, 20 playoff points. Again, remember, we won all but one playoff point available in today's video. There was 14 available, we got 13, Chase Briscoe got one. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you guys in the next.